okay so in today class i will explain the topic components how to create the components in react what are the components what are the components topic in the react and how to create the components in react yesterday i clearly explained what is the react react is a javascript library to create the user interfaces okay so user interfaces means for example we have a website in the website we have the header footer we have the header footer a sidebar all this for example let's take the imagine website imagine say okay so if you want to create this total website okay we need to convert it to we need to small small user interfaces so what i will use so up to this point is the header this is the menu part this is sidebar part this is the sidebar and this is the footer so we need to we need to divide the our total website into small small user interfaces so like header footer menu like this we need to convert the total website into small small user interfaces okay now so for example we have website i want to convert the website into small small pieces like small small user interface like header footer sidebar article so these small small user interfaces are called the components okay the smallest user interface of the website is called the components so what are the components is Com components are the user interfaces okay so using the using the react components we create the user interfaces so so we need to create the header component sidebar component footer component like this we need to create the components now how to create the components in the react how we create the components in the react okay okay still is getting echo my voice is it fine or echo hello hello is my is my is my voice is clear yes yes right so okay so we need to create to create the user interfaces we need to create the react components now how to create the react components before telling the how to create the react components in the react we create the components in the two ways okay in the react we create the components in the two ways functional components class components okay in the react we can create the components in the two ways so the react components we can we can create in two types what is the functional components what are what is the class components so we can create the com net components two things one is the functional components other one is the cl class components before how to create the uh, functional components how to create the class components you must have the knowledge about the what is the function in the javascript what is the class in the javascript okay you, to, you must have the knowledge okay let's to give some basic idea about the what is the class and what is the function okay in the javascript we can create a function like right? function like this we create a function so this is a function function means a set of words a set of words we can create the function giving it a name now this function has the now this is the function in the depth test this is the normal function okay and we have the class the java class okay we can give the class name like class name and in the class we have the variables and property variables and functions variables and functions for example where x and also we have the functions that let get name So, function is a set of the statements. 
class is the set of the functions and variables. In this way, we will create the function and class in the JavaScript. So if anyone wants to class, what is the class? Class is the set of the functions, set of the functions, some set of the methods, like functions. So in the class, we have some functions. And the function is an individual function. In this way, we can write the function and class in the JavaScript. This is the basic. How to create the function, how to create the class. Now, now I want to create the now I want to create the first I will tell you how to create the functional components. How to create the function for that one. For example, this is my existing object. Okay. If you see this way, this is the for example, let's see. I, I want to create a new component. Just create a file, new file. I want to create a header component. Okay, header component. For, that's why I create a header.js. Okay, so I create a file header.js. Now I want to create a component. So I want to create a functional component. For that one, okay, for that one, first you create the function, function, header. Okay. I create the function. Okay. Now I return the I return the like H1 that this is a header. Now I create this component. Now I create the header component. This is the header component. For that one, I create the function. This function returning something. So this function returning some view from some view. This is the some HTML from H1 tag in this function returning. So this, if you use this component, it will return. Uh, now I will get the display. This is the header. So to create the header display, I create a function. Now I want to use this. This. this now this is the component. Now I want to. Now I want to use this function as a component. For that one, first you need to add the export default header. So. Now I need to import this function where you now I want to use this header component in the app component. Okay, here what I'm doing is I have all the development. I, I take the header. So if you even doubt what is the header? What is header here? Header is the this one. This component. This component I was loaded here. Right? I was loaded here. Now this is the header component. Now in the app component, I create the header component using the functional way in the functional component. I create the header component. I import, I need to import this header here. Okay. So what I'm doing is import. Okay. What you will do is give a give other name. Like give the capital name. Okay. So here I, I create this one. Now I need to import this one from the this one. So what to do this? You create a component, header component. How you create the component? You create the function. This function is the name, this view. So if you use this component, you will get the view like this is the header. You create the function. Now I, I need to Use this component for that one. I just first I imported the you know, imported that component and adjust the function. Name. What is the function header? That function name just I use like here. Now in this place, the header component what is displayed was displayed here. Okay, let's see. Let, let me run. Let me run. Header is not defined. So uh, something is missing. Uh, sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, file name should also be start with the capital letter. The new uh, update updation. Okay. Of no, that also fine. Yeah. So what you were telling him? This one is talking, right? Yeah, sir. Still, header is not defined, right? Yeah, 
discussion. So we read from it like this. So this is the way we need to import. So we need to import. So to use the header component, first we need to import header from the header.js. So here we have a header. So we, we create a function for the function and give the name header. Now I exporting that function with the name header. So that's why using that name, we can create that, we can import that fun functional component I can use here. So this is the way how we need to create the functional components. Okay. So to create the functional components, I create a name, I return the sub view. So this is the way how to import the functional components. Let's, let's run the code. So I got this is the header. So, so I create, so I have a view like this is the header. This view I created a separate file. That is this component. So this is separate user interface. Okay. So I create a separate file. I, I can use anywhere I can. Anywhere when I want, I can use that component. And also I can use multiple number of times. For example, if I type here like, Multiple number of times I can use so multiple number of times it will display. So that means the component is reusable thing. We can reusable because we can use a many number of times whenever we want. And also wherever we want, we can render that component. So wherever we want, we can render that component. This is the way how to create the functional component. So the functional comp the component is rendering some user interface, some view. So in, in this way, we create a function, and this function is the sub view. I imported that view wherever, wherever I want, and I use it like this. The, the component was rendered. Any of those still now? Any of those? Hello? Clear. OK. This is the function component. Now, how to create the, okay. Now, this is the, I create the component in the functional way. Now, I want to create the component in the class way. How to, how to create the class component. Okay, for that one, for that one, I create other file. Like, for example, I want to create the footer, okay. Okay, now I want to create the component with the user the class. So I want to create the user the, user the class in the class way. I need to create the function. This is the functional component. Now I will give an example for the create the component in the class way. Using the classes. Okay, let me explain how can okay, we can create. It. Okay, just check it. Out. So here. This is the header, and now I am creating other, other component for that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And also, I will explain that today, talk about a tool dub topic also. I will explain it here today. Okay, here, for example, to create the, the JavaScript, we create the class like the class. Okay, this way we create the class, but to create the class component, to, to create the React component from using the class, we need to extend an existing library, extends React. React. Okay, extends React. Okay, we need to extend the React. Sorry, we accept the component. So we need to import the, the existing library component, okay? So we need to import a component. So we already have a, a class component. All the predefined classes there in the React. So to create the React component using the class, we need to extend this the component. So, so I create the my class for that. Extends this component. Okay. Now, to create a view 
I mean, to create a Yoga Pradesh, which is the class component, we must have a one method that is the render, render function. So what is the class have? Class have the functions, right? So what is the class contains? Class contains the variables and functions, okay? To create the class, com class react component, it must, it must access the component and it must have the one method that is render. So you must have a function in the class component, okay? So I create, I create the class, I create the method render. In this method render, I return the map, my view. Okay, I return my view, right? Now I return a footer. So, to create the class component, first we need to import the existing class component. Now my class is extend the component. Component it must have what method, what function. So to create a class create component, it must have it must have the what function that is the render. This render so spelling mistake. It's the render. Okay. It must have the render method and it must be the the user interface. Right. You people understand, right? No. I need to save it. I need to export this one to use to for reusable purpose. I need to ex export. I give you save as functional components. I need to import import as function. Now I now I need, now I am using that footer component in my app component. Okay, so footer. So I need to import as function first. I need to import component. So I have a header component. So I can header come using the functional way. So for functional way, I need to create a function and return, return it my view. To create the class component, I need to I need to import first the default component class and class by, by component name extends the component. This must have one render method. This class must have one render function. In that render function, I will return my user interface. I will return my elements, my external view. Okay. This is the way how we create the class component. Let's see. So what is the this is the header component, this is the footer component, right? The header components I will create using the functional way. Footer components I will create the using the class class way. This is the way how we create the functional components. This is the way how we create the class components. Okay. Any doubts? Yes, we must have the class component. Then we must have, we must this one. This component library must be there. We must need because then only that the, the, the render method will apply. For example, if you are not using this one, if you not accept the library, you just create the class, you create a you create a function render. Then then the uh, then the application not understand what is the render method, what is the use of render method. Right? It is not it is, there is no use of render method. That's why we extend the input class, extend input class component, right? So this input, this input class component have the render method. That method we are using here. Okay. So that, uh, here that input, input class component is the parent class. I extend that class, I created my class, the chain class. So now the chain class have the access for the render method. So now the application understand, oh, this is the render method is in the input class. If you not, if you not use the input, input class, we cannot understand, it does not understand what is the render method. Are you clear now? Okay. So this is the way, how we create the header component. Put the component. This is the how we create the functional, how we create the weird component, how we create the functional component. This is the way. How we create the class component. This is the way. Okay. This is the function class, functional component. This is the class component. So in this way, using the components, in this way, in this way, using the components, you can create the user interfaces. Okay. So user, so components are usable purpose. 
So we can we can we can we can use many number of things whenever we can many number of any reusable. It's a components are reusable components. Okay. So using the real components, we create the user interfaces. That is the logic. Now the the main concept is the only creating the components. If we understand how we create the components, then that is the good. So some of some of in uh, some, I mean, in some companies they create the functional components. In some in some companies they want the class components. That is their issue. So some in some companies both some in, in components some components they create the functional components. In some components we create the class components. That is their the the company issue. But the, what is the difference between the functional components company and class company? So we can create the component either in the functional way or class way. But what is the difference? I will explain later because we have the components life cycle methods. So those components life cycle methods are available in the only class components. But in the functional components, components life cycle methods are not available. This topic will explain in the further classes. Okay, leave that now as of now. So we can create the component either in the functional way or a class way. You, 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 you can understand it. Now, if you create the component, what, what will happen in the background? If you create the component, what will happen in the, the background? Just check it. This one. Yeah, so I will explain what is what will happen if we, if we create a component, what will happen in the background. Okay, let's see. See, website means HTML, right? So if we create a website means this is the HTML, right? So this is all this is the HTML. So browser process the HTML using the DOM. Everybody knows DOM object, DOM document object model. What will happen, right? We will have the real DOM and the virtual DOM. What is the real DOM and what is the virtual DOM? What is the real DOM and what is the virtual DOM? I will, I will explain clearly you now. Okay. Just a minute. Yeah. For example, let's see. I have a website, right? So, if, for example, I should have worked with all those are created with HTML. You know, right? It's all created with HTML. If any website are developed by the HTML. Yeah. Any website is developed any website is developed by the HTML. HTML is processed by the browser, if people know. So HTML will run in the only browser. So what we'll do is browser, browser will do all HTML elements create an object, like a doc, document object model. It's create an object. You people know what is the object, key value, key value. For example, it has the header element, H1 element. H1, the element name is H1. What are the attributes? Key value, key value. In this way, an object was created. That is the DOM, document object model. Whatever we write the HTML, all object we create in the an object model. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see this diagram. For example, this is the our 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 our, our HTML. For example, uh, body element. We have the body element. The body element has div elements. The div elements are all the, so in this way. First, the browser will create the, in this way. It will create the this this in this way. It create the boxes. I mean, it's created an object, okay? That is a document object. So browser, when you create the HTML, additionally, it create the object, okay? Now, if you create the React component, what will happen? 
Okay, so real compound means so for example here you create the header compounds. That means in the existing HTML, in the, in the existing HTML you are adding something. You are adding the new element. So you are adding the new element. So that means that initially the one, one document up to us loaded. So when when you create when you create the new component, an extra element was added to that element to that DOM. So initially there is a real DOM. After rendering, that means after comp after component is rendered, so the new element was added to that object, to the DOM object, right? So what what will do is where first the, when the application loaded, a doc a document object is created. The what will React do is React will take the copy of the DOM, copy of the DOM. That is the virtual DOM. So already already a real DOM is there, real document object is there. So, what was when the react, react application runs, when react compass runs, first it will take the copy of the real DOM. That is the virtual DOM. Okay. So, there is a real DOM, a stable document object model. I mean, all the elements are in the free way. So, a React will take copy of the DOM. That is the virtual DOM. Okay. That is fine. fine. Now, if you have, if you have any React element, if you have any new element, what will happen if you add any new element? So what? What? Where we are adding new element? We are adding the new element in the real DOM. Okay. But what we will do is first it will add the new element, the copy. So you already take the copy of the real DOM, right? This is the actual DOM. This is the actual DOM. You already take the copy. Okay. When we create the component, the new element was added. It was added in the virtual, not the real DOM. First, it will add to the or copy, copy of copy virtual DOM. Okay. Next, it will check the pre the actual DOM. It will check the actual DOM and virtual DOM. And it check the there is any changes. See, so previously it has the empty, all the all boxes are white boxes and the, all the elements. So the document is now, now the new element is added. That means this part only red color is added. So what we will do is after rendering the React comparisons, the actual DOM and virtual DOM, and you will check what are the elements are changing. Only those elements are not changing, but not the all the elements. But not the all the elements. Only which which node was changing, that node only it will update it. Not the complete DOM, it was not updated. That is constant of the virtual DOM reconciliation concept. That means. That means we, when the when, when website loaded, we have a actual what real DOM, document object. First React takes the copy of that object. Now we have the virtual DOM. Okay. Now if any changes happen, first it will apply to the virtual DOM and it and create the new virtual DOM. So now we have uh, uh, one of uh, virtual virtual of the uh, virtual DOM and update the virtual DOM. First it check the with previous virtual DOM and update virtual DOM. And you will check what are the changes it will observe. Only those changes are applicable to the actual DOM, not the completely. Only that particular DOM will update it. This is called the reconciliation. Why? That's why React is so fast. We can do the same thing in the JavaScript also. In the JavaScript also, we can, we can add the new elements. But what happens now? What happens if you use the JavaScript, for example, Document not get element by any and you append that new element. Okay, if you do the if you if you create the new element or if you do any changes in the real DOM using the JavaScript, whenever changes happen, the total DOM is was renamed. But in React, only the only the change nodes are only updated. So you understand? If you use the JavaScript, if you change the DOM. The total DOM was again rendered, again rendered. But in real, if any changes happen, only the spot changes were updated. Only. That's why compared to JavaScript, React is so fast. React is so fast because it will update it now only the, the particular changes only. Instead of the rendering the total DOM, so what I mean, instead of the rendering the total actual DOM, it just changes only the particular node. That's why if any changes happen, only this will change. This change will apply to this only. Then the time is saving. 
That's why this is called the virtual dump concept, reconciliation process. If people understand any doubts. Yes, got it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so today I'll explain the how to create the functional components, how to create the class components. Okay, and also I'll explain the topic of the virtual dump. Uh, that's it for today's class. Okay. 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 Thank you.